in the last video we spoke about moving average if you are not clear follow this link and watch that video again in this video we'll speak about exponential smoothing where we have two variables a t and f t a t is actually the actual value at time t and f t is forecasted value f at time t and if we need to forecast uh, for the next time interval value f t plus 1 it is equal to alpha a t plus 1 minus alpha f t where alpha is smoothing constant and its value lies between 0 and 1. Note that older data is given progressively less weight. So first of all we need to go to data and data analysis. If you do not see this option in your excel you go to excel options add-ins and then um, enable this uh, data analysis pack by selecting these options then you will see this control and then uh, you can click on it and click exponential smoothing if you click on ok it asks for inputs like your input range so first of all your input range is your actual values at you have specified it and if you have selected uh, the labels just click on labels and you put on the alpha value here so alpha I'm putting uh, 0 0.5 so 1 minus alpha would be 0 0.5 itself so for the first value it is giving me NA because there is no previous value uh, but uh, for the next values I'm getting the numbers so this is the forecasted value and if you want to see the deviation after um, getting the uh, value here uh, you can get the deviation in terms of uh, uh, differencing uh, the actual value and the forecasted value so absolute uh, deviation would be uh, absolute value of the difference so apps function we are using and then subtracting this at minus ft so if i drag this formula and i uh, copy it for all the data set i will get the averages so uh, again if i need to calculate the exponential average deviation so i can take the average of all these deviations now if you try to compare the moving average deviation mad value of uh, moving average and this uh, um, average value of uh, exponential smoothing you will see that uh, uh, for some cases you will find one better for some cases you will find other so you need to see which one uh, suits uh, according to your need so that's all about exponential smoothing. We'll talk about uh, regression in the next video.